Vectors in 3 space, R3. Let's understand what are collinear vectors and solve related problems. Now, collinear vectors are the vectors which are scalar multiples. Let's say we have a vector A. Let's say we have a vector A. Now, vector A will be collinear to another vector K times A where k is a scalar number which belongs to set of real numbers. So what I'm trying to say here is that if I have a vector a defined as equal to let us say with components a1, a2 and a3 then the direction numbers of any collinear vector with a will be k times a will be equals to k times a1, k times a2, k times a3. So these two vectors will always be collinear. So k could be negative or positive. If k is positive, then both vectors a and k times a will be in the same direction. But if k is negative, then it will be in the opposite direction but in any case they may fall on the same line and therefore we say that they are collinear. So this is the concept of collinear vectors that they are scalar multiples which we are going to use to solve our questions. So question number one here is find A such that the vectors 1, minus 3, 2 and minus 2, 6a are collinear. Here a is not a vector. Vector is the one which is given in these square brackets, right? So the vectors are 1, minus 3, 2 and minus 2, 6a. a is a direction number. Minus 2, mi 6 and a are the direction numbers for the vectors. Now if they are collinear, then they should be scalar multiples, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that for the vector, first vector, the direction numbers are 1, minus 3, 2. And for the second, the direction numbers are minus 2, 6, and A. And if we are given that these two are collinear, it means that this vector, the second vector, should be k times the first vector, which is 1, minus 3, 2, where k is any real number. Now, as you can see, k times 1 can be equals to minus 2 only if k is equals to minus 2, right? Now, if k is minus 2, then we can multiply this and get our new vector which is the scaled vector. So it will be minus 2. Minus 2 times 3 will give us plus 6. And 2 times minus 2 will give us minus 4. So that is a scaled vector. And that vector is collinear to the given vector. Now by comparison, you can see minus 2, 6, A, minus 2, 6, minus 4. That clearly implies that a, the direction number along z-axis is equals to minus 4. So that is how we can find the direction number of a vector if we are given it is parallel to some other vector. So let's do a similar question. Now this time we have two missing direction numbers. The first one is, this question is, find B and C such that vectors 1, 3, B and C, 9, 6 are collinear. Let's compare them. So we have two vectors. One is 1, 3, B and the other one is C, 9, 6. Now we are looking for a scalar multiple because we know they are collinear. So if we compare, we are given the direction numbers here, which is along y-axis. So this direction number is 3 and 9, 
and so we have a factor of 3 here so that means times 3 so if I do times 3 to my first vector I should get the second vector right now 1 times 3 will be 3 so let me multiply this by 3 and write the numbers so I'll write them in a different ink so 1 times 3 will give me 3 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times b is 3b so by comparison I can write down that c is equals to 3 so I get one result that is c is equals to 3 how about b if you compare 3b is equal to 6, right? So we have 3b equals to 6 and that implies that b should be equal to 2. So that is how we can get the result, right? And now you can check. If you put b as 2, then this vector will be equal to 3 times this vector will be 3. 3 times 3 is 9 and 2 times 3 is 6 that is 3 times this vector now if you compare them we get c as 3 9 and 9 the, the vector that direction vector along y axis is 9 and along the z axis is 6 which are same so that is how we can get the values of missing direction numbers by comparing these numbers with scalar multiples. So remember, collinear vectors are vectors which are scalar multiples and that helps to solve such problems. Thanks and all the best.